What up, dudes? I got, I've got, i got to tune my ukulele. So I've got this little app that does this. I do this. And then I go like this. You gotta use your ear and your brain. Okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Right, there we go. Sounds really nice, I like it a lot. Um, okay, okay, get back to that, start that. How's it going, dudes? Today is the day I read Eddie and Zara and Legend's book. Um, I like myself. So that's right, exciting, isn't it? What's up, Kathy? Uh, how's my song go again? tuned it with my little tuna. How was that song I was playing for? C, G. Yeah. Okay, so, um, got my little place all fixed up and cleaned. Check out this dude I found. <laughs> it's a little, um, what's his name again? Chewy. And listen to this. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's supposed to be a keychain, but it seems a bit cumbersome for me. Like, who's going to have, you know, is going to carry this around in your pocket? It's a giant, but it's hilarious. So he's going to hang out with the rest of the crew right there. Um, hello, Mary. Hello, Jackie. How's it going? Um, oh, I don't know who saw, if anybody saw this weekend. I filled up my gumbo machine. It's raring to go. And these gumballs are fresh. No more cracking my teeth. I mean, they still have the life of a gumball, but they're pretty, they're very flavorful for a burst of time. Um, so that's exciting. I got my backup bag, you know, that's all good. And Elsa and Sarah stopped by and exchanged out some books. Adam, old school Adam Borgening. What's up, buddy? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Plus, if you bump them, they make noise at inconvenient times. I have a Yoda. See, Kelly gets it. Kelly gets it. All right, Parker, watch the gumball machine fill up. I thought I had to do that. I thought I owed it to you guys. You, you might want to see that. Ephraim and Edda. Love quarantine stories. Good. Um, all right, well then. Yeah, that Parker, he's hilarious. Hilarious. Well, okay, so um, I thought I would just read this book because it's very sweet and so cute and like, a good message for all of us kids that we need to hear. And then we'll talk about some other stuff. I'll show you some other things I did, you know. And um, we'll just keep crack a And What do you think of that? You know? Did you guys have a good weekend? Did you do fun stuff? It was nice out. Did some yard work at my mama house. My big bro, my big brother Marty came over to grandma's house and... Me and him did the yard, and it looks lovely, so that's nice. Raking is hard, by the way. Really gets the old heart ticking, but the grass looks good. You gotta do that. Okay, Stace, ready to rumble with this first book. Let's make sure my phone is off. Oh, it's not. That could have been bad. Okay, here we go. I like myself. Dee -dee -dee. Okay, ready? We played outside. All right. Here we go. 
I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. Uh, I can balance soccer balls on my head, and my dog with strange shape can balance on a soccer ball, too. That's amazing. There's no one else I'd rather be. Look at these weird people. Look at that baby. It's very squished up, but I like it. And a little tuft of hair on the bottom. Look at that guy. Hey. He's got little glasses on. There's another dog on that guy's head or something. But there she is, and there's her dog. You know? I like my eyes and my ears and my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Meow, meow, meow. Look at the dog, scared of the cat, like they always will be. Now, nose, eyes, toes, fingers, ears, cacti. That's good, you know? I like all my, all those things on me too. I like me wild, I like me tame. I like me different and the same. Aw, look at this little lion. He's like, ah, everybody thinks I'm scary, but really I'm very timid. Wah. Aw, I like that guy. And they're like, he's not wild at all. Hmm, interesting. Cute lion. I like myself fast. I like myself slow. I like me everywhere I go. So she's got a, a rocket strapped on. And she's about to take off. And the dog looks like a vacuum cleaner. So they're going to go for a buzz. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like me on the inside, too. For all I think and say and do. Huh, that's the inside. Insides are good. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe, and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. Uh, I like her. Yay! Aw, so cute. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. Because sometimes... Huh? Stinker faces, like this guy. Hey! You're a big dummy! And she's like, I don't even care, cause I like myself. And me and my dog go rollerblading. Yeah! Man, what I wouldn't give for a dog that goes rollerblading. I may be called a silly nut, or a crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. That's a good lesson. You know, sometimes people are stinkers. But they're like, we're dancing in the bird bath, so who cares? That's awesome. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world you know can change what's deep inside. Meh. Whoa, look at that hair. <clears throat> That's sometimes what I look like when I wake up. But look at that little pup. He's like, I don't care. I love you. And then, oh, time to get up. 7 a.m. What? A foot lamp? Interesting. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. Hmm. So, like, she might be getting judged by riding this crazy bike that is powered by a fan and feet. Actually, it's quite ingenious. And this guy might be like, what in the world? And that little dude is like, I've never seen anything like that before, sir. She doesn't care. Awesome! I'd still like me with fleas or warts with a silly snout that snorts. Hmm. So if she had a snort, a snorter, she'd still be cool. And the dog's like, wait, what? Okay, whatever. Okay. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Hmm. Have you ever seen that? What? The dog is like, wait, what? And she's like, Dick -dick -dick, I'm Louie Tunes. It's cute little freckles. I like it. 
or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. What? Well, that would just be a nuisance. I'll tell you that, to be real honest with you. Horns out of your nose, you know? Dog is being very loving though. I like that dog. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine, I still would be the same, you see? Huh, now we've got it all here. Horns, snoot, purple lips, porcupine hair, spikes down her spine. And the dog is still like, yes, I love you. That's why we love dogs. I like myself because I'm me. Yay, hooray to all of us. Because we're the best in the world. It's true. Zach, Chloe, and Tyler. Deep, dee, 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 Meredith. All right, that was a good one, Eddie. That was a good book. I like it. You did real good. Um, I also <laughs> started my sleeve. Check it out. Can you see him? Let's see. We've got a uh, scary dude, eagle, lizard guy, other lizard guy, dinosaur guy, and... I got an angry cat on my forearm. Meow, meow, meow. And I got a lizard on my pointer finger. So, well, I guess that doesn't really work out because who's going to point like that? But I used all my tattoos up. So they're going to last for a little bit. <laughs> yeah! Dogs are the best. They are indeed. Thanks, pal. I do what I can. You know I got street cred. I'm wearing my Harley shirt. It's April 20th, a.k.a. 420. That means things to some people. Whoa, whoa. It's a lovely April 20th, I think. You know, it's nice out. Everybody's cool. We're doing things, looking at other things. Oh, I know what else. Remember when I kept losing all the ninjas? And then I found yellow, and then I found green. Then guess what I found? The black ninja, the trifecta is complete. Yeah, dudes, where have you been? I missed you, I missed you. Yeah, we don't even have to quarantine because we're ninjas and we're secret and no Rona can get us. And we're the best ninjas ever. <laughs> yeah, so the three ninjas together. Who played outside? Parker played outside and Zara and Legend played outside. What'd you guys play? Kickball? Jack and John want to know what's for lunch. Let's see. Well, I had a pretty big breakfast. I had peanut butter, PB and J toast and grape nuts. I love grape nuts. I'm not even going to deny it. They're the greatest. Um, so I'm gonna just chill on my lunch. Maybe, maybe I'll go get a protein shake. Since I'm gonna be putting tats all over my sweet biceps, I better bulk up a little bit. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Evie and Joel! Um, and Evie, Nikki told me a funny story about Evie. Uh, Evan in regards to finding the black ninja. Evan knew. Yep, I love grape nuts too. It's it's a thing. Maybe you gotta be an older person. I don't know if kids like grape nuts, but they're just so crunchy, you know? Like, it's a great amount of crunch, but if they soak in milk a good amount of time, it just cuts the, the crunch down just a little bit. I like it. You can't let it sit for too long or it becomes, it grows. It becomes like a pablum. Marianne, that was for you. Microwaved grape nuts are the bomb. I agree. I agree, David. I think that's a true story. Okay, so I showed you my tattoos. Um, yeah, oh wait, I gotta check my timer again. Oh yeah, we're doing just fine. Oh, I know. I'm gonna read this book. Great nuts are so yummy. Crunchy not soggy. So Shannon and Luis brought me Pete the Cat, a different Pete the Cat. Because Pete is just a groovy dude. And I feel like Pete likes 420 and he likes April 20th. So I think that it's a good day for Pete. 
and his buttons because he's just always so like chill you know he's always just like what up it's all good i'm pete and nothing gets me down you know so we'll go with pete a shout out to shannon and Luis who came by and picked up poster and kid quarantine card kits because they're gonna play Yes, you are the only legitimately funny person Evie knows. Evie, Evie, me and you, we get it. We get it. We know. We get it. So that's oh, hilarious. I need a little chappy wappy. Do do do. Um, I think today, this lovely Monday, um, I might treat myself to a little white horse. Who likes white horse? We took our dogs for a walk and played outside with them. Asher and Zachary. What are the kid car kits, Michelle? You don't know? Oh, Michelle, there's so much to teach you. Um, what kind of dog do you guys have, Asher and Zachary? All right, Michelle, I'm gonna run and grab one to show you, okay? Holding, I know it's kind of rude, but I, I get to do it, it's my own show. Ba -ba -beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Okay, here we go, here we go. And then this, and then this, and then this. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is a quarantine card kit. Quarantine kid card kit. Okay, it's a kit of cards, four cards, with four different sentiments. This one says, wish we could quarantine together. It's got eyeballs. And then it comes with a bookmark and a sticker that says, I love quarantine story time. And it comes with stamps. And then you color them. Like you draw like, Haley drew a mermaid and uh, other people did like a cat and a teddy bear. And there's a whole set of them. And they're so cool. Colton and Rohan, love when you make beep boop beep noises. I don't know what you're talking about, Mary. I don't even make any of those noises, do I? Do I make people beep noises? Well, I must be Looney Tunes if I do that, because I don't even know that I do it. <laughs> okay, Groovy Pete and his eyeballs, okay? Pete, the cat, and his four groovy buttons. Buttons! Max is here! What's up, little Max? Okay. Oh, look, there's a little tiny picture of a little bird with buttons. Random! Pete, the cat, put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much. He's saying this song. Okay, so there's a little tree outside. Pete's getting up. It's eight, that's a good time to get up. He's got his shirt with his four buttons. And he's like, four, I like the number four cause I'm Pete and it's April four, you know? Okay, have you ever played roll blocks? No. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pete always has tunes for everything that's going on, which is another reason why I like Pete. You know, I feel like the last time I sang a Pete song, it was um to the tune of Eddie Rabbit's I Love a Rainy Night. This one I feel like is more of a hip hop rendition because it's, it's very, you know, so I'm gonna sort of rap it if I could. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many are left? Okay, let's figure it out. Everybody count the buttons. Boing! One's gone. How many are left? How many? Are you shouting at the TV? Uh, can I hear you? Okay. Three, if you said three, you're a genius. Four minus one equals three, three, three. Look at him, now he's looking a little more like a stud because his shirt's open a little bit. Sometimes people do that. They're like, oh, look, I'm cool. 
And Pete's like, yep. Three, groovy, says Pete. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come, buttons come and buttons go. But he kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my four, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Okay. Pop. Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Dudes, what do you think? Doing! Why are his buttons popping off? Either he has some shoddy, uh, like, you know, clothing designery, you know, like, I mean, or he's, he's really buff and his shirt might be too tight. I don't know, but buttons shouldn't be popping off like that. I, three, okay, now two. Do, do, do. Three minus one is two. You guys are brilliant. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. He is so groovy, this guy. You know? There he is. Ugh. So cool. So cool. Oh no, boing! Another button popped off and rolled away while Pete was getting ice cream from his buddy, the ice cream truck guy. How many buttons are left? Doing! Look at that guy. Yo, Pete, thanks for shopping small and supporting local, bud. You're cool. Yeah, I know, bud. I like strawberry and chocolate mixed together. Doing! How many? How many? I can't hear you. Do, do, do. One, two minus one equals one. You're the smartest kids on the planet. Okay. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop. Doing. The last button popped off and rolled away. Now how many buttons are left? Dudes, now he's just an open-shirted guy on a surfboard with a Volkswagen bug on the beach. Man, I want Pete's life. You know, just no worries. He doesn't get stressed out about buttons flying off. Who knows? Oh no! Zero are left. Zero, zero, zero. Zero. One minus one equals zero. And he's just like, oh well, I don't really care. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. What do you think he saw? His belly button! <laughs> and he kept on singing his song. Okay, his belly button. There's his sweet slug bug. And then he's like, doink! Ha ha, that guy's the coolest. He really is. It's all good, says Pete. My button, my button, I still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. You know, and how cool is Pete? He goes surfing with his shirt on, totally open, zero buttons, except for his belly button, out on the sea, just being chill. It's all good, my friends. It's all good. You know, I'm telling you, Pete, this guy. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no! We keep on singing. Ha ha! Doing, doing. Pete, he's just a long dude in a yellow shirt with zero buttons. That's hilarious. Did I miss a final page? Buttons come. And buttons go. Doing, doing. That's hilarious. More buttons, all the buttons. If you've ever lost a button, it's not hard to sew them back on. I've done it. My mom taught me how to do it. And now I can do it sometimes if I have to. But I put it on so good, there's no way those things are going to pop off. No way. Um. Okay, okay. 12, 26. Let's see what, what time is that. So tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we're doing real good. Oh, we could do a couple letters. 
because we've still got a couple minutes. Tomorrow we're going to do a book from, oh, I lost my note on this one. Kelly, did you bring me this one? A unicorn named Sparkle and Krista, Reese, Lila, and Cora brought me this guy. Archie the Sloth. So that should be a good one. We'll check those out tomorrow. So let's do a couple last letters. Anybody remember? Maybe he's hiding stuff in his pockets. Okay, we did H, I, J, Jelly Door, K, the King, H, I, J, K, L, Lumberjack, M for Miss Mary. Beep, boop, beep. Okay, so M stands for Made of matter. Do, do, do. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Mary, what? Is made of matter. So is her mother. And her mother's moose. In fact, matter makes up everything from magnets to maps, mountains and mattresses. Mary discovered all of this the marvelous day she got sucked through a microscope and became the size of a molecule. Great Scott. Okay. So there's Mary, me, looking through a microscope. Doink! She got suctioned into the microscope and became little, little tiny matter. Although matter makes up all things, matter itself is made up of molecules. Molecules. Moose. Mattresses. Mountains are made up of these. Molecules. Moms. Interesting. That is fascinating. It's a minor miracle that they all made it back out of the microscope at their normal size. Huh. So then everything popped back out of the microscope. There's Mary, microscope, mom, mattress, moose, mountain, magnet, and map. Fascinating. Okay. N. Nearly 9,000. Didn't we already do this? We did. Remember the nun? We'll have to skip that one because we already did it with the elephant and the envelopes. Okay, O. O is for onward. Dun, dun, dun. No, wait, there it is. There it is, onward. What's up, Josh? Out on the ocean, there is an owl who rides on the back of an octopus. They search for problems. <laughs> there they are. Come on, dude. Let's go save people that have problems. Sure, buddy. You just ride on my head because I'm an uh, octopus. Woo hoo. <laughs> okay. They solve them. Okay. So, here they had a problem of math and they carried the two and solved it. And here they had a problem. Uh, this little guy in a little um, umbrella boat was like, hey, which way did the giant whale go? Uh, he went that way. Thanks a lot. And then here, oh, little cup. Remember the cup that fell out of the cupboard? They glued them back together. Oh. And then, uh, what's that? I don't know. Uh, like this. Oh, how do you fly, maybe? Huh, okay. And then there's something green down there. There it is. I don't know. I don't, I'm not putting that together. That's the green thing. Maybe it'll come later. Maybe it's somebody's shoe? I don't know. I'll cry for help. Let's go. Then they move on. Doo -doo -doo. They're here. <coughs> They're heroes. Pardon my cough. <coughs> no, no, it's just a scratchy throat thing. I swear to God. Okay, P is for a puzzled parsnip. Who knows what parsnip is? I think... It is a little bit like a carrot, but it tastes different. Have you ever seen the movie Onward? No. Does it have a dog in it? Because I should watch it if there is. Parsnips aren't known for their intelligence, but this one was particularly daft. Hmm, I think daft is not smart. Okay, so there's a parsnip. Uh, are we carrots? No. Potatoes? No. What are we? Parsnips. Oh, okay. So he's trying to figure out who he is, what his identity is. I get it. I get it. Hey, did you know we're parsnips? You're not very smart, are you? Point proven. Because now he's telling it to a peanut. 
and a peanut is clearly not a parsnip. It's crazy. All right, so we're leaving it on Q. We'll start with Q. Tomato. Okay. Um, what else? It has a dragon that's like the family dog. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could get behind that, I would have to say. Wouldn't you? Um, okay, well, that 30 minutes, minutes went by wicked fast, wicked fast. So we better quick try out our new gumballs. Ready, folks? Oh, you ready? Is anyone going to take a guess on the colors today? Because, look, we've got all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. And I'm not eating any more yellows and oranges because I don't like them, so I'll save them. And somebody that likes them, I'll mail them to you, okay? Ready? You got more gumballs, da da da. Pink and green, says Parker. Here we go. Oh, I got a double white and purple. There's my tattoo on my finger. And it's upside down. Okay. There are elves in the movie. Okay, blue or green, white and pink. All right, well, I did get a white and purple, but since I have two pennies, oh, darn you, Facebook Live. Grabbing another one. White, you're all, you're all right so far. Whoa, I must have put it get back together wrong because it's shooting out doubles. This yellow is going in an envelope and I'm mailing it out to someone that wants it because not me. But I will have this purple one. So, something might be loose in here. I might have to take a closer look. But, we've got our gumballs. We had some books. I tuned my ukulele, which is quite in tune now. Happy 20th of April. <clears throat> Be cool. Don't draw on yourself. These are legitimately fake tattoos. And thank you for everything. Whoa, Aubrey's birthday. Happy birthday, Aubrey. There are blue elves. Thanks, everybody. Love you very much. Bye. Lizard says, bye dudes. Bye.